Hey, are you open to taking a walk with me? Well, I'm going to take a, a long walk on Monday, November 2nd, Feast of All Souls, and also the day before Election Day. A walk of 26.2 miles, beginning with the Church of Our Lady of Victory in Floral Park and ending at the Church of Our Lady of Perpetual Help in Lindenhurst. And the whole point of this walk is a walk of prayer, praying specifically for hope and healing. Hope and healing, those are two powerful words, especially in these days when there seems to be so much need for healing in our country, which is really racked with such division, and especially on the eve of an election that would perhaps even cause more division in our country. And also praying for hope that through the power of God, we may be brought to a place of, of unity where there is division and strength where there is weakness, and perhaps even a place where we can heal from this terrible virus through a vaccine and other medical interventions that will bring us back to a place which we feel is normal. I want you to join with me in this walk, whether physically, spiritually, or just joining me in spirit with all of it. Well, let me explain. Physically, you can join me with the walk. I'm going to begin 7 o'clock in the morning at Our Lady of Victory in Floral Park. And I'm going to be walking along Jericho Turnpike. I picked a route, which I'll be putting out there in the internet, which will show where you can pick up the pilgrimage at any time, maybe by either driving to the spot or perhaps by even going on the Long Island Railroad. I'll be outlining where I'll be at various points throughout the day, uh, leading from Floral Park, all the way down to Lindenhurst. You can maybe join me just for a mile or two, or if you're up for it, 26.2 miles. Also, the walk is meant to raise some money. Well, for the missions of our church. That too gives us hope that we're able in the midst of these difficult days to continue the work that we're doing in our parish, which is so critical the formation of young people, whether through our faith formation program or through the school, our outreach program, which is seeing increased needs because of unemployment due to the virus, our um, uh, video ministry, which has taken off again, very much so because of people needing to virtually be present at masses, which we live stream, any number of different ministries, youth ministry, religious ed, school, outreach, Whatever your choice is, maybe you could help sponsor me as I do this walk. $2 a mile or $50, presuming I'm going to make the end of it, which I think I will. Um, your sponsorship would help the ministry of our church. And it will also be a spiritual way in which you can contribute to the whole prayer of hope and healing. So whether you join me physically, whether you join me spiritually, or if you can even help us financially, that will be a wonderful way in which we can move from despair to hope, from division to healing, a way in which we can take a stand to say, Lord, through the intercession of our Blessed Mother, you can bring about great things for us now at this time in our life, in our country, and indeed in our community. Um, sponsorship forms will be made available on the website of our parish. And if you do ch uh, choose to walk with me, maybe you could get some people to sponsor you. Or maybe if you walk with me, you may do this in memory of a loved one who has succumbed to COVID or somebody else you'd like to pray for. The possibilities are endless. Joining together in prayer, in walking, in doing this as a memorial for someone, let our hearts be united with the Immaculate Heart of Mary, bringing it to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, from which flows healing and grace. So please look at the website uh, for the articles that detail the specifics about the walk, as well as uh, some opportunities you have to share in the fruits of this walk, which will help our parish as well. God bless you, and may the Lord just bless this beautiful walk we do on November 2nd.